the uh, SRRC survey, the longitudinal survey, the first part of it uh, was done in Sri Lanka in October and November 2012. Uh, we covered about 1,377 households. Uh, we did it in three districts, um, both in the north and east of Sri Lanka. Uh, why we selected those, I mean, we purposely selected those three districts basically because uh, one of the districts came out, which is Trincomalee, we came out of a uh, conflict in the 1990s. Uh, whereas uh, Jaffna, which is the second district in the north, uh, came out of conflict somewhere in 2001, 2002. Uh, whereas the third district, Mana, came out of conflict only in 2009. When I say came out of conflict, there was active conflict situation in those districts during those periods. Uh, so what we wanted to find out was, is there a difference in terms of livelihoods, basic services and social protection in those three districts? Uh, and given the time lag, has there been different situations in those three areas? In choosing the specific villages where we would do the survey, uh, we did again a purposive cho choice, basically because uh, we wanted to do the research uh, subsequently on fisheries in terms of livelihood. So we also chose very much the coastal uh, fishing areas. Um, we're hoping to repeat this survey in 2000, 2015 when we go back uh, to as many families as we can find uh, from the original survey. So if I can mention three aspects that come out of the survey or stand out in the survey. Uh, one is that the people's perception of the government is, or the government institution, both the local and the national government, is much more positive when they have been consulted or they have been part of a consultation process. Uh, second, we do find one of the groups which are very much vulnerable, even though uh, conflict has, com as, as I indicated earlier, there are certain districts in which the conflict uh, ended long time ago. Still, women headed households do indicate uh, that they are quite vulnerable, uh, both in relation to food security and also in terms of the level of assets in those households. Uh, the third aspect is, um, is, is quite contended uh, in the sense that uh, our perception, the, the perception of the fishermen is to say that uh, they are not receiving enough uh, support services for livelihoods. Whereas the fisheries ministry uh, or the fisheries department feels that they are indeed providing quite a bit of services. Uh, and uh, hence, one of the follow-up studies that we will be doing, or we are doing in terms of the qualitative uh, component that is happening this year in 2013 and in 2014, uh, would be on trying to find out why this gap is, I mean, whether the people's perception is lower and actual or whether it's the whether the services provided by the fisheries ministry is falling short of the expectation of the people.